What's up, man? I'm Polo Joe. Back with another video. Listen, I know I've been gone. Listen, I know it's basketball season. I know I've been gone for a long time. But I'm coming back. Y'all just got to bear with me right now. Y'all know why. Y'all need to bear with me. Just a minute. Hey, before we get started, shout out to Heartless Grind. All the information will be in the description box. Shop Heartless Grind. Hey, so here it is. Y'all seen the title by now. Y'all seen the thumbnail by now. It's true. I am no longer with TSA. Oh, hold on, hold on. So yes, why? This and that. So, my TSA journey has been, was, was a, a, a good one. I felt like... I went through it. I learned a lot. I picked up on a lot. I had a I had a lot of people. The person that trained me was good. That helped me out a whole lot. Uh, I just been enjoying answering all y'all questions, bro. Like when I first made that first video, I was in the hotel getting ready for orientation, and like I literally made that video because when when I first applied, well. Not even apply for the job, but when I got like the airport assessment and stuff, I was looking for information. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have none. Didn't see any TSA videos about the hiring process because the process, any hiring process with the federal government is different than a regular everyday hiring process. So I didn't see any anything to do with the hiring process at all, right? So I just went out of the limb, said, okay. I do YouTube, I'm going through this process. So let me document my process, right? And that's what I did. I just started, uh, I tried the best I can to remember everything. I tried the best I can to just, just put it, make it as detailed as possible for you guys. So anybody that's going through the process would know, right? And man, I appreciate all of y'all support with the TSA videos. I never would have guessed like it's that many of y'all going through the TSA process, interested in, interested in TSA. None of that. Like I would have never guessed, but I'm glad I was able to help y'all because man, that's what it, that's why I did the videos, man, just to help anybody because you know everybody's different. Than others, you got people with anxiety. You got people with, you know what I'm saying, people that just overthink you. They just worry, worry, worry. And then when you got somebody that's telling you step by step what's happening, even though yours may not be exactly like mine, you're going to run into everything I went into. Like, you may, like, the the biggest thing, because I know it's a lot of people that was going to big airports, your OJT may be totally different than mine. But from, but from the time you apply to Flexi, all of us, all that's that's all gonna be the same. The only thing that's gonna be different is the OJT part because smaller airports are way different than bigger airports. So I just try to have that as detailed as possible, man. And I wish I love my small airport. You know what I'm saying? Um, for anybody that doesn't know, I only work 20 hours a week. I was part time. So part time with TSA is 20 hours a week. I only work 20 hours a week, right? And that's cool because you know with TSA, in a year, after a year, you could transfer in anywhere in the in the United States, if they have position open, you could transfer to after one year, right? So that was my plan. My plan was to, okay, I'm going to get in here, get my feet wet, learn as much as I can at this small airport. Because truth be told, you can learn a lot more at a smaller airport than you can at a bigger airport. Because let... Less employees, more employees. So, like, at small airports, I'm talking about we literally had daily, everyday briefings. And I know big airports have it, too. But our briefings were so detailed, like, if anybody had a question, the supervisors would literally right there and we'll go through it, pull up the SOP, find it, go, like, it was that detailed. Because I know, I know all of all TSA have briefings, but those briefings just be... The regular stuff, it doesn't be like as detailed as our brief. Like, brief if somebody had a question about a pat down, we'll go through it. Somebody had a question about something that happened on the checkpoint, 
or a supervisor just want to go through that scene, somebody at the checkpoint will pull up the SOP and go by. So, so it, it was really by the SOP because every time we had, if there was a problem, anybody had a question about something, we pulled up the SOP and walked through it step by step. So I did that. That really helped me out a lot. That helped me out a whole lot because like knowing the, knowing the SOP, bro, you, you can never go wrong. Never go wrong. And it changes, it changes a good bit, but, but if you know your SOP, you can never go wrong. Like ever go wrong. So that was the biggest thing I liked about working at a small airport. Um, the biggest thing I didn't like is the split shifts, right? So my split, I was a morning split person because I had a second job on the, on the um, afternoon side. So the first, we had to be there at 4.30 to 6.30 a.m. So just, just picture waking up 3 o'clock in the morning, drive, be there at 4.30, work to 6.30, you don't come back to 10. So from 6.30 to 10, you're at home sleeping, doing whatever you do, working out, doing whatever you do. That's what you're doing. Like, bro, like, working for two hours at a time. Now, that's all we did. And we tried, like, I'm talking about, we had many discussions about the, the split shifts, how big a gap they were, everything. We tried to fix it. <sighs> it was a lot, man. It was a lot. People, I know a lot of people that transferred in from bigger airports that had like regular part time. You worked like four straight hours and everything like that. But we did have some days we had four straights. And um, the first time we did that, I looked up and got a straight on a Friday and I was off Saturday and Sunday. So it was really like I was off three days because from what, 4.30 to 8.30, nothing's happened. Not how. Everybody still asleep or jagging up or jagging to work. That's really like an off day. Really, because really, you still go home and take your little nap and wake up and be ready for the weekend festivities. You know what I'm saying? So that was cool. But I was I was second then. And the only reason I got that first time because the dude didn't want, I think he, something he didn't want. He didn't want, he didn't want to lose his Sunday pay. Sunday pay is a big thing at TSA. So anybody going to TSA, I know if you just started, you probably won't get it. Maybe if you're a small airport kind of situation like me, Sundays you do get paid a little extra. So people love Sunday pay, especially at smaller airports. That those matter. But the thing I didn't tell you with the splits, we did get split pay. So that 4:30 we got um we got the tail end of night differential. So we got a little extra, and we do get split pay. I really didn't know how it was. I, to be honest, I ain't gonna lie to you. I should have cared, but I really didn't care. I just know I was getting. I just, I just knew what it was. I knew I was there. I knew it was my job. I had to do it, but um, I really didn't care. But yeah, um, so I did have an opportunity to go to a bigger airport. Was it before my year? It was before my year. So. Let me tell you how I could have did that before my year. So, so just say, so just say you apply to multiple airports, right? In an area around you or to another area you want to move. But just say you apply to multiple airports in an area around you, right? And if you go through and apply through USA Jobs like that, and then they call you for a job, you can, you can, you can transfer that way. If you do it through USA Jobs, but if you do it through the transfer portal, it has to be a year. So, I don't know if y'all remember this, but it's 2018 or 19. The, when, the last time the government shut down, right? So, right before it shut down, we didn't know what was going to happen. I got a call from Atlanta Airport. Um, told them, yeah, I was still, I told them, um, they, she called me, HR called me from Atlanta. They told me what was going on. They told me that um, they pulled my application, have a spot open. It's going to be part-time, but it's real easy to, to get full-time. I knew it was going to be real easy to get full-time. Um, they, they, they told me they had to call my manager, check in, make sure all my stuff was good, because you know I was good. I wasn't good, though. 
for a while when I started TSA. I thought I, I think I told that story. But they called me and told me that. Boom. Blase, blase. Okay, about a week later, I got a call back. Talk to your manager. Everything's good. Offer your position. Do you want it? I said no. The reason I said no, uh, I knew I knew that it was going to be easy to get a full time there. But just going in, I didn't want to go in part time. I wanted to go in full time. If I transferred, I wanted to transfer full time. You know? And um, I've seen it happen at airports. Cause I had people at my airport transfer out. You know, that's what people do at small airports. Especially when you're younger. People our age, they transfer out and go get full time. So I wanted to go, especially like going to Atlanta, I wanted to go full time. I only think it was a week or two later. Boom, the government shuts down. So just say, I would have transferred to Atlanta part time and the government shuts down. I didn't take it. And then the government shut down. I look at that as, um, you know, God puts stuff on your mind and moves you for the right thing. Because I've been messed up, man. The government was shut down about a month. Y'all remember that? So when the government shut down, federal workers don't get paid. But set like, I think the CDC was still getting paid. The Army, the military was still getting paid. But everybody else, we weren't getting a check. And we still had to come to work. They were... And then, but during the time, they threw us out with a little money, like, boom, boom, from, like, like the TSA pot. They threw us some money here and now and then. So, but it wasn't your regular paycheck. I was, I was able to get food stamps, though, but I had food stamps. I had food stamps for six months, $200 a month for six months. But I was loving that. When the government got back on, we getting paid again. I still had them yaps. Still had them yaps. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, so that's the other way you can transfer. So if you're trying to transfer from, you're trying to transfer anywhere, go through USA Jobs if you do not want to wait a year. You don't want to wait a year, you can go through USA Jobs. But if you want to wait your whole year, you can just go through the transfer portal after your year. You can put it into three different airports, whichever calls first. It's either accepted or denied, right? So if you deny them, so you need to go like with make sure it's three places you really want to go because you deny somebody. They have some I forgot to deny rule, but they have some rule about you denying people and all that. So yeah, man, uh, I miss my TSA people. I miss my TSA people now. So my first airport I started, I I moved. So I moved um, up north from where I used to stay and where I used to go to the airport. And I transferred to another small airport, right? And this airport was a little different. Time's a little different than ours. My old airport, kind of the same, kind of different. Uh, way bigger splits. Like, the splits there were way bigger. But in my old airport, it was Delta. And this airport was like, some, what was it? I don't know. They only flew, like, to D.C. It was just, like, one flight to D.C. Oh, uh, uh, it was some C word. Some C word that flew out of there. But it wasn't a major airport. But there, if I, I felt like if I was there, if I if I started TSA there, I wouldn't have been as good as I was at TSA if I would have started there. So I'm I'm very appreciative that I started the airport I did with the people I did, with the supervisor I did, even with the manager I did, bro. Because nobody nobody really liked my manager, but in all in all, you appreciate him for it because it's not there to be your friend, bro. Like, he knows his stuff. Like, he's the, like, it, it, let me tell you a crazy thing about my manager. So, one of my supervisors trained my manager. So, he made the jump from, like, I say he jumped from, he didn't, he never was a supervisor lead. Like, he just jumped the manager. Oh, I, I don't know how. Like, his case was one of those rare cases where, like, bro, he jumped to a manager, like, crazy though but um if you have people that that care about tsa care about sop you'll do great and man you know what i'm saying i still i still i'm still in touch with my tsa people they can't tell me everything anymore because you know i'm not i don't work there anymore but the basics if y'all have any questions bro y'all still coming like i i still got people working there 
that I know, I talk to all the time. And then some some stuff just doesn't change. So I, I still know. I will still know. Right? So that's the TSA story, man. I'm, I, re I really didn't want to leave TSA. But the main reason I left TSA is because um, when COVID hit. So when COVID hit, this is before I transferred up here. When COVID hit, bro, we, we weren't working. Like we had, um, they call them weather and safety leave days, where we was off because they wanted to keep us out of the airport as much as possible, which is understandable. But like when, like, okay, so TSA is at the bottom of the toe pole anyway, in the federal government. TSA is at the bottom of the toe pole. But when nobody's flying, like we used to have flights like one, two, one time we had like 20. But like before stuff really opened up, we had like one, two, three. Like those were the numbers on, on a flight. One, two. So like stuff was looking iffy, man. It was already part time, you know. And then you don't know when like the, the world is going to be open back to travel. It was just looking icky, bro. So when I transferred, I transferred up here. Stuff was a little better, even with the COVID stuff. Um, it wasn't normal, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing's been normal since all this happened, so it wasn't normal. And then I caught wind of people like the bigger airports, like really cutting back on part time, you know, because they don't. It's not a need. So without people flying, we don't really need TSA, right? So I started thinking about it that way. I was starting to think about job security, right? So um, there was no. So I just transferred. So that means I can't transfer for a whole other year. Um, it was looking icky. So I, I, I made a, I made a decision. To be honest, I was gonna stay with TSA, my new job, but it wouldn't have worked out at all. It wouldn't have worked out because to, to, to the, the situation I fell in with my new job. It wouldn't have worked out, but. Yeah, man, I didn't want to leave TSA, but, you know what I'm saying, sometime in life you got to do what you got to do, especially with this COVID going on and um, air travel not like it used to be, um, airlines cutting back on how many passengers can uh, fly and all that. And, 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 you know, that means you don't need as many TSA workers. If you don't have that many people flying, you don't need as many workers. Because why would you have a, a checkpoint full of workers and the flights are not full. Would never be filled again, probably. You know what I'm saying? So, I I think me me myself, how I was thinking, I was like, we're gonna be some we're gonna be some some huge, you know what I'm saying? Cutbacks in TSA. And and like the part timers are gonna go first. Like they're not gonna cut full time. They're gonna cut part timers off first. That's that's my mindset. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm like, man, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta find something else, you know. So, don't know where TSA. I now work with FedEx Express. Yes, Federal Express. So I went from working to a, to a company that's may get cut off, not all the way off, but a lot of people may get cut off to the company that's thriving during this COVID situation. Like, bro, I was thankful. Like, <laughs> thankful, thankful, bro, like, that I got this opportunity. And, like, bro, it's it's lovely. You hear me? Lovely. You you hear me? Like, before peak season, it was lovely. Now it's peak season. And, it, oh, my God, we booming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like snare drum. So that's why I've been away because I know, because if, if everybody who watches my videos, you know I was dropping reaction videos hard and then I, I just stopped it's because you know i was trying to trying to get my body used to this new time because i bro for the last two two years i was waking up at three o'clock in the morning you know what i'm saying i was waking up at three o'clock in the morning um i nap a little bit so my body was like split work up up for two hours i nap and then up for two more, I work up for the rest of the night. You know, since so my body, and then so when I work this, it's like work straight through. So my body had to adjust, and then peak season hit, and it's like I'm working for a camp. 
from Kank the Kank. I don't know if y'all know it. If you drop down the comments and know if you know what Kank the Kank means. I'm working from Kank the Kank. And man. But I'ma work it out. Because bro, I'm I i i miss y'all. I miss doing YouTube. I miss everything. But yeah, that's what I've been, bro. Federal Express. Let me know if y'all want me to do FedEx um express videos like I did TSA. I really mm, I wasn't gonna do it because it's not it's not really as complicated of a process or thorough as a process as TSA. So I don't I don't know if y'all would want anybody that's interested or anybody would want to know about the hiring process for Federal Express, what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis, how I do stuff. You know, so I can tell y'all a lot more than I could with TSA. <laughs> I can definitely tell y'all a lot more than I can do with TSA, but I don't know if nobody wants to know about that. But, um, yeah, if y'all, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to try to do at least, I know, um, since I'm not going to be doing more TSA videos, I might do some funny um, Federal Express stuff, but on the reaction side, y'all need to check out my reaction videos, bro. I'm, I'm one of the best, no, fuck that. I'm the best reaction um, channel on here, really, for real. If you want to be honest, I'm the best one. Y'all check my reaction videos out. Don't just stay to a TSA video. Get the rest of the tea. That... Grad Green over here. You hear me? Grad Green over here. But yeah. But y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know if y'all want me to do the Federal Express videos. Um, also, we're going back to reactions. And and vlog. We're going to do some vlogs too. Some vlogs too. But most of we're going back to reactions. Music videos, basketball is going to be big. Basketball is going to be big because I'm still partnered with Next Ones. So basketball is going to be a lot. So this is what it is, folks. No more TSA videos. I loved it. I loved y'all. I can still ask y'all a question on the old videos. Still comment. I know a lot of people comment. In. Oh, oh, Cousins and Border Patrol. Yeah. So when that happened, when COVID hit, bro, like they just, it was, it was the same thing, bro. Like everything stopped. So even with customs, my whole process with customs stopped. So I wasn't finna wait. You know what I'm saying? Wait on that. So I made my own move. So I don't know if customs is, is a possible is gonna if I'm gonna even think about that now. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Customs. Customs would have been cool though. But yeah, COVID messed that up. So I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping because I'm good. I'm good one minute now. Happy one minute now. Uh, I'm really enjoying Federal Express. Really enjoying Federal Express. If you want to know more, just let me know. But yeah, check out. We here. I'm back. No more TSA, but we got plenty of basketball reactions, plenty of music video reactions. Come on, man. Y'all need to like, subscribe, share me. Heartless grind on the come up. We eating out here. We here. Y'all come here with me. Enjoy this life. Because it's grass green over here. Yeah. Grass green over here. But yeah, man, that's the video. All about that. Uh, like I say, if you want me to do videos on Federal Express, drop down in the comment section. Let me know. I still can do TSA questions. And um, check out my reaction videos, man. Check them out. I'm dope. Take him out. But I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Peace.